the top of the world and Taylor Highway bypass the Alcan Highway from Whitehorse to about 80 miles into Alaska where the Taylor Highway connects back into Alcan. We cross the Tanaha River just west of Tok, Alaska. Tok started out as a construction camp in 1942 during the building of the Alaska Highway. The 125 mile Tok cutoff starts on the Richardson Highway and ends at Tok, drastically reducing the distance to Anchorage. Tok is the major overland point of entry to Alaska and the only town in Alaska where one passes through at two times, both entering and leaving. This is Tok, no stoplights, and a 4th of July parade. The huge log visitor center upper right is at the intersection of the two highways and a good place to get information about Alaska. The sourdough campground and cafe, famous for their sourdough pancakes and evening pancake toss, is a fun place to visit. Tok is the only town offering most traveler services in 400 miles from Whitehorse and is popular for their winter sled dog races. The 110 miles from Tok to Delta Junction is a wide open highway with little to see except there are many moose along the road. In the 1920s the Richardson Highway was built from Valdez through Delta Junction to Fairbanks. Delta Junction is the northernmost terminus of the Alcan Highway, ending the 1,422 miles of road in November 1942 after just nine months of construction, requiring 77 contractors, 15,000 men, 11,000 pieces of equipment, and a costing $115 million. It is here we first see the Trans-Alaska Pipeline along the right side of the picture as it joins the Richardson Road for its far final journey south to Valdez. The Alaska Pipeline is four feet in diameter with other lines also shown in the display. The pig is advised used to clean the scale from the inside of the pipe and is inserted in the oil flow regularly. The broad, flat, marshy delta is an ideal breeding ground for the famous Alaska mosquitoes, and yes, they are big. Some examples are shown. The huge white Canadian geese is also quite a sight. In the late 1970s, Alaska sold more than 100,000 acres of land in the delta area for farming purposes. Farmers grow barley, grass seed, canola, potatoes, and peas. Continuing on another hundred miles to Fairbanks, we see more moose, the cow and calf, and lots of trees.